Danny here from Chasing Bones Inspectors. So, you want to be a paranormal investigator. Fantastic. We could use all the ones we could get. However, today we're going to talk about one of the main tools that we use in the paranormal investigation, and it's called a digital recorder. This is the one I use, alright? And there's as many digital recorders as there are people, right? So pick one that you like, uh, that you can get, okay? So, you've got your digital recorder. Great, now what? <laughs> well, let's go over a few simple rules. Huh? Number one, when you hold your recorder, keep your hand flat and don't move. Okay? Because if you move around, your hand can make noises. You might accidentally rub against your microphone. You could do anything which will cause an extra noise and you won't realize it at the time. Okay? If you do move, you got to make sure you mark it, but we'll talk about that in a second. So let's try, let's, let's show you how you do this. Now, you ask a question, <coughs> and everybody says, oh, you got to wait this long or that long or this long or that long. You can wait as long as you want or not. But me, I like to count to ten in my head. Not necessarily seconds, but I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I will ask my next question. All right, it gives them a chance to answer and uh, have a think about the question, you know. It's not too long, it's not too short, all right? So, ten seconds is, is what I use, and I get some, some good uh, answers, and so does the rest of the team. Uh, one member of our team waits 15 seconds, another member of the team waits 8 seconds. It just depends on you, okay? But I like to stick around 10. So, now I'm going to ask a couple questions. So, what you got to do is you got to keep your hand very flat. You turn it on. Okay, now we are recording. So, that's what I say. I go, EVP session number one. Danny at home testing questions. Is there anybody here? Do you have anything you want to say? What is your name? End of questions, and I am now closing the door for communication and everything else. Thank you if you've answered. And then shut off. So when you start your EVP, you say what you're doing, where you are, who you are, and then wait, and then ask your questions. At the end of every EVP session, say, I am closing any doors. Just in case you accidentally opened up a door that you don't want to deal with later, all right? And remember to keep your hands safe. You want to see if we got an answer? All right. So we hit play and hopefully it works. Okay, now we are recording. So that's what I say. I go, EVP session number one. Danny at home testing questions. Is there anybody here? you want to say what is your name end of questions and I am now closing the door communication and everything else. Thank you if you've answered. Okay, so I didn't hear anything on there. Did you? Now, part two. One rule, one next rule is when you're doing EVPs, do not whisper. Okay, if you're talking between each other, 
Talk in your normal, loud voice, okay? Never whisper when you're doing EVPs because you might confuse it later for an EVP that wasn't really there, okay? So always talk in your normal tone, your normal voice, and don't ever whisper when you're doing an EVP. Next rule, say you're recording. So, well, I guess I was recording, but anyway, say you're recording. Now I gotta move. Or say I accidentally move. I move my foot or you know, I, I turn myself, whatever. If you notice it, okay? So you'll be going like this. Shuffling, 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 mark that I shuffle. Now, it is uh, recorded that when you hear that noise, you start thinking, oh, what is that? Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. So now you know that you were moving, okay? So you're not gonna mistake that noise for an EVP. So remember now, when you if you move at all, say shuffling. Okay? Or moving, moving, moving. Okay? Make sure you mark anytime someone talks or anytime you shuffle. Alright? Number three. When you be recording, sometimes you will hear out of body voices, okay? Or um, there's not a name for it, but I can't remember what it's called. But they're audible voices that you can hear, but there's nothing there. There's no one around, you know. It's just no body, just a voice. When that happens, if it ever happens, and you're holding your recorder, just say, I thought I heard someone say, yes, I'd like a cheeseburger. Okay. Or whatever you thought you heard, repeat it on your recorder. So that as you're going through your investigation, you might forget that you heard this. You won't know where it was. You won't know when it was because it's a long investigation. But as you're going through your review, you'll say, oh, I thought I heard this. So then you can back up and listen more intently to see if you did hear what you think you heard. Because it might be recorded. All right? Number four. All right, so now we're doing recordings and everything else, right? What you want to do at the end of every time you say, okay, that's enough of recording, or whatever, all right? As soon as you've done your session, go directly to your camera guy, or to your camera on your tripod or whatever, and hit playback right away so you can listen. Hi, this is Dan, Jason Bones Inspectors at Dan's House. Okay. Now the reason you did, there's two basic reasons why you want to do that. Number one, because you might be in an area where you're getting good answers, good stuff. You want to keep staying in that area and work in that area, right? That's how it gets, how you don't hear anything. Number two, it shows your viewers that, okay, you just saw me record this. Now we're going to listen to it together, right? So they kind of find out when you find out, right? Which, which makes a a good thing and it shows integrity because you're showing what you're getting as you're getting it all right and that's very important we need integrity when we investigate we need people to go oh yeah okay look at they're showing everything that's the same as when you realize that something's not right you realize that something's not you say no this is incorrect this is debunked they use that word a lot um if you know it, something's wrong you say so okay uh, we don't want anything out there uh, that isn't. If you really get something and you're really, you know, you're about 90% sure or say 70% sure, whatever, that this is this, you get this is what we get, uh, how about you, right? You can do that too if you want to. Um, but at any rate, after you've done a, a session, make sure you share it right away with your cameraman or with your tripod. All right, next through. What will happen when you're doing recording is you might get a chill, you might get a shiver, uh, you might feel pressure, you might feel any, anything like this happens, that's a personal experience, say so at the time of your recording, okay? It's like, oh, I just got a chill, you know, or, oh, I feel like there's a pain in my shoulder, you know. Whenever that happens, make sure to record that and share that with your viewers as well, because sometimes it's a chain of evidence that makes a big difference as well, all right? So don't be afraid to say that next one okay so let's go through everything one more time and uh, 
If there's anything else that I remember later or whatever that, you, uh, that I haven't told you, I'll try to remember it uh, later on down the road. But this is enough information that you can get great EVPs uh, and not get things confused. Okay, so, number one, when you're doing EVPs, make sure to keep your hand very, very still and don't move, okay? Or put it down someplace and don't move, okay? And don't talk, all right? If you're doing an EVP and you do move, go moving, 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 moving. Whether you're moving at the moment or whether you just realize you moved, make sure you mark it by saying moving, 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 okay? Don't talk. But if you have to talk, if there's some reason you have to speak, speak in a loud, normal voice. Do not whisper because if you whisper, you're going to mix it up. Um... And you're going to think that was an EVP when it really wasn't, okay? If you hear audible voice, which I remember the word is disembodied voice, which is a voice with no body. If you hear that, say, I think I just heard someone say blah, 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 okay? If you feel something or you sense something, say, I feel this, I feel that, I sense this, I sense that, right? Because that evidence matters okay so I'll just give you a quick demonstration uh, if everything else was going backwards okay so here we go this is Donnie at Donnie's house take three testing and teaching doors are now open for communication and that's all you cannot hurt me I cannot hurt you recording Hi, do you know my name? Moving, 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 moving. What did you do before you died? As in, what job did you have? Uh, no, I just got a chill. What is your name? I'm not sure, but uh, I think I heard the name Bill. Oh, did you just feel that as well? Okay, I'm just confirming that another team member felt something. What are you hoping to achieve by communication? Well, I just bumped the table, so if you hear that noise, it's debunked. Okay, ending conversation, closing all doors that may have been open, closing conversation. You may not follow me home. Thank you if you've answered. Then shut off the recording, right? And now the final part is to review it right away with your team and with the camera that's set up. You want the the voice right up tight. So you take your thing and you hit play. This is Donnie at Donnie's house. Take three testing and teaching. Doors are now open for communication, and that's all. You cannot hurt me. I cannot hurt you. Recording. Hi. Do you know my name?
not sure, but uh, I think I heard the name Bill. Oh, did you just feel that as well? Okay, I'm just confirming that another team member felt something. Following all these rules, and I know it's a lot, but by following these rules, you will have clear and crisp EVPs when you do get them. All right, and you won't question whether or not you got a good EVP because you'll know the truth. Okay, and there's nothing like having the proof in your hand. Okay, you do not want to speculate whether or not this was an official EVP. So follow these steps, okay? And remember to be safe out there. All right? I'll be back in a minute. Thank you for joining me on how to do EVPs. Now, everything that you've learned here is what I do and what the team does. These are our opinions. This is the way that we do it. We're not saying it's 100% accurate. And we're not saying that we know better than anybody else. But what we are saying, this is the way that we do things. All right? And... It helps with our credibility and it helps our, our fans and, and our friends and our family to know that we don't take any shortcuts and we only show you what we believe to be valid. Now whether or not you believe it, that's totally up to you. Uh, but we try, to, we try to keep it as real as possible and show you the proper ways of doing things, alright? And remember now, okay, try not to, you thought I was going to say my end line, didn't you? Try not to move. And try not to talk. All right. If you do, make sure you mark them. Mark all your feelings, all the things you sense, anything you might hear, anything like that. Mark it. Okay. And when you are doing these, do your best to be still and do your best not to talk. All right. And that's all I got for you. So that's all we do our EVPs. So now remember, take care of yourselves. To kill your family. Watch out for ghosts. And have a great day. All right. Love you. Take care. Bye.